right, SEC West fans, this is Rick again. Uh, I guess it's week 12. Weeks are kind of running in on me. We've got Arkansas and Mississippi State playing this weekend. Arkansas is a three-and-a-half point favorite over Mississippi State. I asked my buddy Aaron to give me some inputs on it, but I haven't uh, heard from him yet. My trusty iPhone here. If, if I do... I'll give y'all an update because I don't know about y'all, but I'm interested in that game. Uh, it could be an interesting matchup, to say the least. Uh, real, I'd really like to watch that game if I wasn't going to be at another football game. Uh, Bama's playing a practice game tonight against Georgia Tech or Georgia State. Sorry, uh, Yellow Jacket fans. They're playing against Georgia State. This is their first season for Georgia State. Uh, their coach coming in used to coach at Alabama. That's an interesting sidebar. But this is basically a practice game for them for the Iron Bowl, which you know what? It might work in their favor, get a good practice on Thursday night, and um, get ready for Auburn. We'll talk about that game next week. LSU, 16-point favorite to beat Ole Miss. Ole Kuhn Neck, he uh, talked about this game already. He erroneously said that, that Ole Miss has beaten LSU four of the last five times, I think. Uh, I've sitting here wrote it down as far back as I can remember. Uh, LSU has two losses back-to-back -back against the Rebs. But before that, we haven't lost to the Rebels since, uh, God, since Little Manning was there. It was like 01 or 02. I believe it was 01. So I don't know where, where Kuhnneck's getting that information from. But anyway, uh, this game used to be in the 50s, the 60s, and even the 70s, one of the bigger games in the nation, actually. You know, you had the, the the Bear in Alabama way up here, but, you know, the rest of us, this was a good game. Uh, a lot of tradition. Uh, in my lifetime growing up, Ole Miss has just been like a little tick or flea. Got respect for him, but, you know, it was always one of those games where as a fan, you say, oh, well, we got Ole Miss this week, so what? You know, my dad wasn't like that because he liked to tell me about the history. But um, but this year, after losing two straight to Ole Miss, I'm personally pissed. I mean, I'm pissed. It hasn't just been Ole Miss that we've lost to for two straight years. It's been used to nut that we've lost to for three straight years, counting back um, when he was at Arkansas. He's been a thorn in our side uh, to Les Miles. He's totally out coached him for three straight years. He's out lucked him. He's out bested him. He's outdone everything. Um, I think that intangible alone is going to help the Tigers this week. And that might be what the folks in Las Vegas are thinking with the 16 point spread. There's a lot, uh, you know, listening to LSU players talk this week. That's all they've been talking about was that crazy, weird game last year and that ass whooping they put on us in Baton Rouge two years ago. Um, I can tell you that I've never in my life wanted to beat Ole Miss more than uh, I do now. I mean, it's just, it's, it's that bad. And even this song right here makes me cringe. I mean, this is just, you know, these guys can't even get their own song. They got to go back to the Civil War in the 1800s. And you know, at least everybody in the late 1900s and early 1900s, I mean, used to write their own songs. This is a hold back from, you know, the Civil War, for crying out loud. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, I'm glad you Ole Miss fans heard that song now on my show because you're not going to be hearing it a lot Saturday. Um, 
I think LSU has the intangibles on this alone, and I think just intangibles are, are, are going to keep us focused and ready to play and execute, which we've been having a problem of. Uh, one key matchup, if you look in this game, is <laughs> – <laughs> it's what's quarterback's going to show up. You know, what Masoli's going to show up. What Jordan Jefferson is going to show up. What Jarrett Lee's going to show up. Uh, that's a question for the ages. Uh, I had a lot of respect for Ole Miss until that debacle in Tennessee. And, and Jeremiah Masoli, I think Coon next, right. I, I don't think he's ever going to get his act together. Um, we saw what LSU can do if they execute. Uh, against Bama, I don't know what these next two two weeks are going to entail, but I thoroughly believe that uh, this game, the guys are going to execute. The defense is going to smother them. Um, Houston Nuts going to look in his tricks, his bags, and all this stuff, and he's just not going to be able to come up with any answers this year. And. I think the folks in Oxford are, are going to have a real case of the red ass over Houston Nut after the season's over, and it's just the same thing you listen to any Arkansas fan say. I talked to my buddy Aaron, and he's, God, he, he, he loathes Houston Nut. So, you know, if I, was, if I was the athletic director at LSU, I would have looked at this year. And I would have circled this Ole Miss game and said, if you don't beat Houston Nutt and if you don't beat Ole Miss, you're gone. I mean it. And I think that's what the players, how the players are viewing this game. They're sick of it. I'm tired of it. Um, so I think we're going to execute well. I think our fan base is going to be up. I think being at home is going to be big for us. I don't – playing in the daytime – I guess that helps Mississippi in some way. Uh, I can say Ole Miss played so bad last week that I don't expect them to play that bad this week. I think they're going to execute. And I think Masoli is going to live up to what I thought he was going to be. But I think in the end of the day, just like I thought of the Auburn game, I think our defense is going to be too much for them. And I just think our roster is going to going to get them. I think we're going to be able to get our running game going. <clears throat> we got a key offensive lineman uh, coming back. We're not that banged up compared to where we were last year. And um, again, the intangible of these guys wanting to prove something I think is going to push us over the edge. If we win by 90 points, that will not be enough points for me. If you know, if Houston nuts running down the sideline and trips and breaks his leg, I'll laugh. Um, I'm not hoping that happens, but you know, there's very few games. Uh, I don't. I haven't wanted any game as much as I want this one this year. So I never give out score predictions, but I do think LSU's going to win, and I do think LSU's going to cover the spread. Um, that's just my, my opinion. That's like my opinion. I haven't been right that many times this year. Uh, so that's why we started this show. One day, me and uh, one year, me and Sherrill were just burning up the predictions and stuff. Say, hey, we'll have a show. Ever since then, I haven't been able to, I haven't done anything. I haven't been that good. So take the intangibles, take Ole Miss. Take LSU, give Ole Miss points. Um, and going back to the, I've got about a minute left. Uh, this this Cam Newton bit. You know, when this Cam Newton story first came out, I really felt bad for him and and, and the Auburn Nation. Well, I still feel real bad for the Auburn Nation. But I'm of the opinion that there's just too much smoke here. You know, it, it, it's. It's pretty much fact that Cecil Newton offered money to Mississippi State. Uh, that fact is uh, it's becoming more and more and more of a proven fact every day. I think there's too much smoke. I think there's too much heat around this whole situation. 
And if anybody's going to tell me that, that, that somebody offered, you know, told, gave Mississippi State a payment plan, and then all of a sudden they go to Auburn and they didn't offer at least the same payment plan, I think you're smoking something. So I hope that's not the case. And I hope Cam Newton is not declared ineligible. But I fully believe if he's not, if they win the Iron Bowl, they're not, you know, if they win the Golden National Championship, whether it's going to be one year or two years or three years or ten years, they're going to have to vacate that championship. Aaron just said Hogs 42, State 21. So uh, we'll leave on that note. Uh, again, uh, Aaron says Hogs 42, State 21. Y'all take it easy.